Today I'm going to talk about how to alter images from magazines with the use of gesso, which is a thick acrylic medium that's generally used to prime canvases with, but we're going to use it as a way of uh, creating texture and altering the surface of this image. I chose this because I actually like the colors here. So I'm going to just, um, just paint the gesso onto the surface randomly in a sort of a textured way. And I can also take the back of my brush and I do these rough lines and texture it some more so it gives it something interesting. Now the image becomes a little less, less obvious here, which is really what we want to do is, is create an interesting paper that can be used later on in a collage or mixed media piece. So I have a piece here that is already dried because you want to let the gesso dry and then um, there's a number of ways that you can work into it of course you can use it just like this you can take um, some watered down paint or uh, translucent paint and paint on top of it with this glaze um, and then, of course, your gesso disappears. But what you do have is this lovely texture that you've created. And I'm using a paper towel to wipe off the excess. You can wipe off as much or as little as you want. Um, so that's with, with paint. And then what you can also do is you can take charcoal and um, kind of lightly rub it onto the dried gesso and then you get this different effect. And you can see how the charcoal is grabbing the ridges of the gesso. And um, if you can look at it, see it a little closer can get that feeling of um, kind of a rough, rough texture. You can also take the paper towel and rub it a bit so that you get more of a smudged effect, if that's what you want. Or you can keep it like that. Um, and then the image becomes secondary here. It's more the colors and the textures and the papers. And just remember that if you do use charcoal, you're going to have to spray the, the paper with a fixative so that this charcoal, when you glue it on, doesn't smear like on your fingers like this. The fixative will allow it to remain in place and um, and I just want to show you one that was made with um, you know different colors this was also charcoal and gesso but the background color colors were more varied and look how beautiful that is so um, then we could use that as a base for a, a collage, which I think I'm going to do. And I'll show you that in the next video.